Hi everybody, on this episode I visit Timla Planets which is the first digital art museum of the world which is located in Tokyo, Japan. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. Timla Planets is a digital museum where you walk through water and a garden where you become one with the flowers. It comprises four large-scale artwork spaces and two gardens created by art collective Timlab. People go barefoot and immerse their entire bodies in the vast artworks together with others. The artworks change under the presence of people, blurring the perception of boundaries between the self and the works. Other people also create change in the artworks, blurring the boundaries between themselves and the works and creating a continuity between the self, the art and others. The Timla Planets is located in Toyosu area in Tokyo, which is the capital city of Japan. Toyosu is a man-made island in Tokyo, close to Odaiba district. The district is famous for its panoramic views of the Tokyo skyline and its assortment of futuristic and quirky attractions. Odaiba is also a shopping and entertainment center of the city. Located near the futuristic neighborhood of Odaiba, Timla Planets is right by Shintoyosu Station on the Yurukamomo Line. From one of the central stations called Shinkuju Station, take the Shinkuju Line to Ichigaya Station, then switch to the Yurokuchu Line train. You can get off at Toyosu Station, from there it's a 10 minute walk. Other option is to catch the Yurikamama line one stop over to Shintoyosu station. From there, Timla Planets is 5 minutes walking distance away. Timla Planets houses 7 multisensory, full body immersive art displays that combine touch, sights, sound, and forward-thinking creativity to formulate an experience unlike any other. Planets completely turns the idea of what a museum or gallery is on its head. If you are in Tokyo, this is one of the must-visit locations. From the people behind it, to what to bring and how to get there, here is everything you need to know about experiencing the digital art wonderland that is Team Lab Planets. You will wander through maze-like dark rooms that lead out into open, light fluted displays and synchronized music. Be sure to charge your phone because the Instagram content opportunities are abundant. During the visit, you will be barefoot. Water levels can rise up to knee high. Areas of the site are mirrored, so there is a possibility of your underwear reflecting if you are wearing a skirt or a dress. Book your tickets in advance as they are often sold out. Take into account that you will possibly have to wait in line a few minutes before getting inside. Download the TeamLab application before visiting so you can interact with the artwork. You can leave anything in the lockers before entering the exhibition, just take your phone or camera with you. Getting photos without others is not an easy task, don't forget frustrated about it and enjoy the visit. Once you are in, you can stay as long as you want. Using a monopod, tripod, selfie stick etc. is not allowed. The sites feature dark areas and strong lights.
Team Lab are Japan's most high profile collective of digital artists and creators. They are a self-described interdisciplinary group of ultra technologists whose collaborative practice seeks to navigate the confluence of art, science, technology, design and the natural world. The enigmatic group which formed in 2001 is made up of creative specialists including artists, programmers, engineers, CG animators, mathematicians and architects who together craft boundary-pushing digital art experiences. The museum usually opens at 10 am and closes at 8 pm on weekdays, with times extended from 9 am to 9 pm on weekends. It is generally quietest during the first two and last two hours on weekdays, with numbers peaking at noon until just after lunch. On weekends, the spread is a little more even with people getting there early, so weekdays are, in my opinion, the best. To avoid having to line up to buy a ticket, you can select your time and date and book online. The entrance fee for adults 3,200 Japanese yen, 13 to 17 years old 2,000 Japanese yen, 4 to 12 years old 1,000 Japanese yen, and disability discount tickets are 1,600 Japanese yen. Vegan Ramen Uzu Tokyo is a dining experience from Kyoto. Located in the plaza of Team Lab Planets in Toyosu, Tokyo, guests can enjoy vegan ramen surrounded by art in the reversible rotation, non-objective space, table of sky and fire artwork spaces or at the one-stroke bench. Vegan ice cream and a variety of teas are available. The Digital Art Museum in Tokyo is understandably popular, so no matter what time of the day you go, there will likely be a small crowd. However, the space is large enough that even when it's busy, it never feels too crowded. Each ticket also has an admission time to help keep movement flowing and you might be able to go in early. The interior of the planet is a whopping 10,000 square meter and it does require a bit of additional work, taking off shoes, drying your feet, posing for the perfect shot etc. If you put aside around 2 hours, not including travel time to the museum, you will be able to fit everything in rather comfortably with a little time to revisit your favorite displays. Enjoy an unforgettable day of art, food, shopping and waves of Tokyo Bay. After experiencing Team Lab Planets, enjoy restaurants and shopping at the nearby Toyosu Fish Market and Urban Dog Lalaport Toyosu. Stroll along the bayside promenade around Toyosu, visit the nearby Toyosu Guguri Park, or admire Tokyo's famous landmarks such as the Rainbow Bridge while gazing at the sea. The museum is just 10 minutes by car from the luxury shopping and dining district of Ginza. Team Lab Planets is Tokyo's latest exhibition of the Futuristic Art Collective. Located in Toyosu, Team Lab Planets is an awesome experience for all ages that will stun you not only visually but will also immerse your other senses as well. If you are traveling around Tokyo, it's definitely worth visiting place. If you like my Team Lab Planets video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!